Welcome back to Yarn as a Second Language. Today, as you can see, we are at Walmart. Now, if you watched our last video, we were at Hobby Lobby checking out some cotton yarn, and I promised that next we would go to Walmart and check out some wild, wacky colors, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So, as you can see, my first choice is this Mexicana yarn, and look at those colors. It's got a little green, little purple, little blue, yellow, a little bit of everything. So that's kind of what we're checking out. Now, most of the yarn um, that I'm gonna show you is about the same amount yardage. It's about 482 yards, as you can see there. And I know that's a jumbo. Um, so some of the yarn may have less, uh, but for the most part, it's about, you know, nearly 500 yards of yarn. And for the price of $6.97, I mean, in my opinion, that's not too bad, uh, but you know, everybody's a little different. So I'm not gonna focus too much on the yardage. So check out this one here. This is an ombre. Um, this is called Stripe, Bright Stripe, and for good reason. Look at that. If that doesn't catch your eye, then I don't know what will, because it's got nearly everything. The, the bright green, the purple, black, red, orange, had everything. Um, so this is mostly going to be red heart yarn. There's going to be some jumbos, some pooling, some ombres, uh, different lines of um, red heart. But I think the yardage is nearly the same. So, all right, moving on. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I personally don't think I'm that good at color coordinating my projects. Um, like I look at stuff online and I'm like, wow, how did they get their colors to just, you know, flow and coordinate the way they do? I guess I'm just not good at coordinating colors. I don't know. So this year I'm going to try something different. This year I'm going to just go for the wacky, bold, in your face type of colors. Um, unless I'm making something specifically for somebody, I will try to use a color or colors that I think they would like. But other than that, if I'm just making a project for no reason or I'm working on a pattern or a stitch that I just want to improve in, I'm going to grab some yarn like this and just see how it turns out. I will probably like it a little bit more than me trying to color coordinate. So uh, here um, is some pooling yarn and let's see, in a second, we're going to talk about pooling yarn in a second, but I think... Uh, yeah, I think this is where it comes up. I'm going to pick up another ball of yarn and then you'll see a lady kind of like, you'll see me move back real quick and then you'll see why. Because I think it's right here. Yeah. Now that lady was pushing a cart with her daughter, I assume, in the, in the cart. She about knocked me over. I don't know if she didn't see me. Um, I was definitely in her path, so I don't know how she didn't see me, but... And I was kneeled down, so maybe she didn't see me, but she about knocked me over. So be careful out there in the yarn uh, aisle, people. It's a little dangerous out there sometimes. Anyways, back to the pooling. Um, if you have watched our channel before, you know I had attempted pooling. I'm not going to say I mastered it because that's definitely not the case, but I definitely did improve in pooling. And I have got several projects to pool the way I wanted to. But what do you all feel about pooling? Have you tried it? Do you like it? Are you good at it? Um, and if you are really good at it, please send me some of your work um, at yarnissecondlanguage at gmail.com. I would love to see it because I kind of want to get back into it, but I kind of don't because it's a lot of work. And I don't know, maybe I just get a little impatient sometimes. I don't really know. All right. So I haven't done a good job looking at each um, ball of yarn with you all. So let's get back to it. This color is called Jazzy. And uh, it was a bright pink color, not something I think I would typically use. Um, you see the price there of three twenty eight. I think that was in the wrong section. I'm pretty sure it was because most of the yarn there was solid colors. So uh, I should have put that back where I thought it went, but you know that didn't. All right, moving on. Let's see what we got next. We got some jumbo stripes. I think we looked at that one already. Um, I think this one here is called Violet. Yep, it is. And, uh, if you guys watch Miss Seta's Place, um, you'll know that her favorite color is purple. And if you have not seen Miss Seta's Place, check out her YouTube channel. 
you will not be disappointed. We in fact did a video with her and we love Miss Seta. So shout out to you, Miss Seta. Keep doing what you're doing because we're loving it. Now this one is not a red heart yarn, but it's gold, it's sparkly, it caught my attention. So at this point, I was actually on my way out the door. And as I was leaving, I saw some red heart Ogo um, yarn. And as you guys know, maybe, or maybe you don't know, uh, Miss Nikki and I have done a review on this yarn and we've used this yarn and made some different projects. And our opinion is oh go is a oh yes. Um, for me personally, the tangle free aspect of it stayed true. Did not have a single problem uh, with tangling. Um, and also I like the different colors that it, it offers. And once again, it does the color coordinating for me so I don't got to think about it. So I did like that part of it as well. Um, at this particular Walmart, and I think most Walmarts, I'm not real sure, I believe the price was $3.97, so nearly $4, and you don't get a whole lot of yarn. I think I showed a yardage here. Um, it's 141 grams. It is, um, it's a four-weighted yarn, um, and it is 100% acrylic, um, and I think it is $3.97. I think I showed a price here in a second. So you don't get a whole lot of yarn for the price, but, you know, it's... You know, you get the gimmick of not tangle and all that. So, so that is the Red Heart um, wacky color yarn that we have at my Walmart. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out the video with me. Um, this is actually a really good time because my son's coming in here and I'm sure he's going to make a bunch of noise. And many of you have told me, don't apologize. You know, you don't need to apologize. He's a kid and... You know, we all have families and we know how it is. So I'm not apologizing. I'm just letting you know. So thank you guys for checking out the video with me. And thanks for hanging out and shopping with me. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It is free. And uh, we will see you guys at the next video. Adios.